when I think about life or like whenever I get discouraged or when things seem difficult, you know, I always try to put myself in like different situations. And like one of the main people whose shoes I try to put myself in and try to see myself or see the world through their eyes is um, King David. <clears throat> and I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, uh, the reason why. You know, not a lot, not a lot of people talk about King David um, in the sense that before he fought Goliath, you know, he had to prove himself to the Most High and he had to kill a lion uh, before he got the right to slay Goliath. Um, and even if the looking at how he slew Goliath, you know, he took a slingshot. And, and I would ask everybody to think about what's the modern day slingshot. You know, what's the modern day slingshot? He took a slingshot and he brought down a giant. Now, whether or not that, you know, rock to the head killed Goliath instantly, I don't know. But what we do know is that once Goliath went down, King David took Goliath's sword. And keep in mind, Goliath is a giant. So the sword that, you know, Goliath had had to be a much bigger sword than a normal size sword. But King David was strong enough to pick up that sword and use it and chop off Goliath's head. And, you know, that's how you kill giants. You have to chop off their heads. Um, it's just something to think about. So anytime I think to myself, you know, oh, man, this seems difficult. Life seems hard. So much stuff is working against me. I think about that time, you know, uh, King David was living in. And uh, it was a time of open war, you know, open battle. King David had a job, and this was before he was a king. He was just David, uh, where he was working, and he just kind of, he tended to sheep, you know, and he fought off lions. That's what he did. And, you know, I think about my job and what I do and, uh, I think about, you know, some of the jobs that, you know, you guys do. And I can guarantee you, you know, nobody out here is fighting off lions. Just listening to me right now. You know, nobody's out here really, I would say, risking their lives per se. You know, unless you're out here trying to, I mean, be a cop. And I don't know why you want to do that. Um, but the reality is, like, in terms of danger... And like what all we're facing nowadays, I mean, motherfuckers talking about like, you know, get this injection or you lose your job. Is that really that threatening? I mean, it just doesn't seem, you know, because there's levels of survival that I've accepted personally that I'm willing to accept. Um, and I, I, I really don't think that they're, you know, difficult levels of survival. I think that if it did come to, to these levels of survival that I'm willing to accept that i probably be the healthiest and fittest that I've ever been in my entire life. And I think a lot of you would be as well. Um, I just think that we as the so-called black men, you know, we are the of the bloodline of Adam. You know, and we are living souls. And, you know, I just think that it's a lot that, you know, we are dealing with. But it's mostly mental. And whatever we're, we're dealing with, I like to look at it in terms of opposition. You know, so am I going to let somebody beat me? I mean, they had to create this whole system just to, to try to keep us down. But I like to think about it in terms of even though they did all this, am I going to let that stop me from succeeding in whatever I'm trying to do? If I'm trying to make money, if I'm trying to, uh, you know, try this new venture out or I'm trying to uh, get to this new goal or, or I'm trying to have some type of overarching objective and get to it. Am I going to let this bullshit stop me? And, and the answer for me is no, I'm not. You know, I'm not going to let these fucking snares or anything else stop me from from catching that wind. And I think every man has to decide, you know, how far you're willing to go and what all you're willing to tolerate. And whatever you decide for you, hey, that's you. But for me, I'm going for that shit.
All right. Peace.